Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James, where I do what I want, when I want, and today, I'm sure by the thumbnail of this video, you can already tell I want to get into some astrology. More specifically, I'm going to be kickstarting and jumpstarting my sun sign series. You know, I was out and it's summertime right now, and the sun is out, and I'm like, wait, James, you've done all these videos. You've done your, your planetary series video. You've done your houses video. You've done all these videos on your channel and you haven't even gotten to the sun yet. Like, what are you thinking? Like, what are you thinking? And I'm sure you are thinking that as well. Like, the sun is, quote unquote, the most important aspect of our chart because it is the hero's journey. It's what we are here to do. And so this video is gonna be showing you and telling you what your Leo sun sign is here to do. Now you, Leos, I am gonna beg to differ. I know this may be cutting edge news, but listen, it is not what your sign is, it is where your sun sign is in the birth chart. And so I have a houses through the video, uh, uh, houses through the video. I have a video of the houses of sun through the houses video. And I want you to go to that video after this video. And I want you to take the analysis of this video combined with the house placement analysis of that you find in my video and go and find that and congeal those things together because that's going to show you what you are meant to do with all these amazing traits as a Leo. What you're going to be doing with all this sunshine and all this goodness and all this greatness. What you are meant to do with it. And so for the sake of the video, I'm going to go through this video and tell you what the sun in Leo does. But I really do want you to go and do that. Please, please, please promise me you'll do that because it is very, very important. It's a cheat sheet to how you will conquer your lessons and what you are meant to do in this life and how you're meant to do it because are you a are you a second house leo are you a eighth house leo are you a 11th house leo that's going to be very important that's going that's why sometimes when you meet a a similar leo sign and you talk to them you're like wait you're not giving me leo like ooh you're a little rough around the edges or ooh you're are you sure you're a leo it's because they could have a different house in which their Leo is in and so that's going to color how their Leo is, is 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 expressing themselves you know so let's get into it now with Leo my Leo sons I'm a Leo moon so I I'm, I'm a little I'm, I'm a little like in love you know this is my favorite one but with my Leo sons my Leo sons you are sun on sun and that means that you have so much like like you, you just have so much solar energy within you. You have so much, like, you just are here on the planet and you know who you are. You know, your ego is well intact and it is very strong and this is why you are very prideful. This is why sometimes you can get a little insecure about yourself, but at the end of the day, you know you're gonna walk outside and you are gonna shine bright for all those to see and those who don't like it, they better get some shades because you're gonna shine anyway. And you'll be damned You'll be damned if you go outside not looking your best or feeling your best or being your best. It's just not gonna happen. So this is because you are sun on sun. You you are a Leo that's ruled by the sun and you are a sun, sun on sun. And you've got a lot of solar energy within you and you are the great, what am I gonna say? You are, you could be a great leader. You are the great showstoppers of the Zodiac. You are the, the Zodiacs that, you know, are the great attention seekers and the attention getters. And this is what you are meant to do. You are meant to be people that give out that ray of sunshine and through you giving out that light and giving out that expression, you get that feeling back. You know, it's a volleyball of just solar energy when it comes to you because, you know, one of my best friends is a Leo and she is one of the most, she's one of the most caring but like hype men i've ever been around in my life you know not only is she gorgeous and drop dead gorgeous but the gorgeousness that she has she lends it to you you know that is what a real evolved leo does is that they it's not all about them it's all about us you know how can we all go and out there and look our best They're, these are the perfect people to take shopping with you or the perfect people if you need a pep talk you're gonna pep talk your friends your family your your colleagues because you not only just want to look good, you want the people that you love or that you care about to feel that way as well. You have a regality about you. You have a queenliness about you, a kingliness about you. And that and that, that regality 
is so noble and you are at the end of the day someone who is very very kind very sweet and very passionate and how could you not love that how can you not love those traits those are all the good traits put into a person you know you mean to tell me you're beautiful strong smart motivating luxurious fun in one person yes because that's the sun and we worship the sun for those very things because without the sun there is no life and sun sun and leos have just life about them they probably don't even need coffee in the morning because they are the coffee they are the ones that are just like up and at them and just wants to feel good and be good and do good and i just i love that about leos you know leo moon is a little different but but i i get it i resonate with that you know it, it there is a regality to all of it but it's just you know as a son in leo i would really recommend that you know your karmic lesson in this life is to be all that you can be and to not shy away from the spotlight because for some people depending on where your house placement is you are going to be someone that sometimes you know a lot of that attention can get very tiring you know a lot of that like expectation of keeping yourself up and keeping yourself together and being the person that people come to for inspiration and 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 motivation can be tiring on the soul you know for anyone even for leo you know everyone has their off day no one can be on 100 percent of the time and so for you i would really 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 suggest that your karmic lesson is to be all you can be even on your worst day even on your worst day if you've got to make those sweatpants and that tied up ponytail with no makeup look the best as long as you feel good you're gonna look good my leos as long as you feel good and you have a great sense about you you are gonna be you're gonna look good you are and so i wouldn't put i wouldn't allow those things to make you insecure because a, a little known secret about my leos and this is a secret between me and the leos and i'm hoping that none of the other zodiacs hear this and i'm hoping that they don't because they're not leos is that Leos get insecure sometimes, you know? Leos can be down in the dump sometimes. Leos have the worst mood swings ever sometimes and just wants to hide away and not go outside and not be seen and not be perceived because you ate that cake last night or you got this pimple on your face and you just don't think that people are gonna receive you or perceive you the way in which you wanna be. But I'm gonna let you know, my Leos, that that secret is between us and that you don't need to be perfect all the time. The beautiful thing about a Leo Listen to me when I say this, is that as long as you feel good, you're gonna look good. As long as from the inside out, you feel good and you have a great sense about you, you're gonna look good. I have met the most unconventional looking Leos, listen, the most unconventional looking Leos on the outside that didn't dress well or didn't have the features of a Leo or wasn't quote unquote beautiful. But their personality and their sense about them was so drop dead fucking gorgeous that all that went out the window. And, and that is the secret that no one will tell you, Leo, because more times than not, Leos, you've got it on lock. And people mo more times than not feel that you already know you're the shit, that you are, they already know that you are it and that you're beautiful and that you're gorgeous. So sometimes people won't even let you know that babe it's not even about what you wear it's not even about the makeup or the style that you have it's just your your aura your aura is bomb your your personality and your your sense about you is just bomb it's it's yummy you need to understand that so even on the days where you've got that pimple or you're not feeling your best i need you to understand that your auric energy is just so magnificent that it doesn't matter and that that's that, that's probably the cherry on top is your aesthetic about who you are you you need to understand that that when you walk into the room most times it's not about what you're wearing it's not that's not where leo's magic comes from leo's magic comes from the energy that you carry around you the energy the presence that you have is so regal and just so like palpable but that's where your beauty is coming from so don't be so hard on yourself leo is that you're you're beautiful no matter what you really are because whether you're looking good or feeling good people are going to receive you because you have that presence about you so don't get down on yourself leos be all you can be share that light share that motivation be an inspiration for others because you are meant to shine and you are meant to shine on the darkest of days you are someone that you know i equate 
back to what I was saying about people aren't perceiving you by what you wear and what you look like because they're not even gathering that in the first 30 seconds of when they meet you. It's your presence. That's what they're gathering. And so think about it. When it is a cloudy day, right? Or it's a rainy day and the sun starts to shine and sure the sun may have these clouds, these hazy clouds that are blocking it, or you know, it, it was a horrible rainy day and the sun starts to peep itself out of those cloudy, those cloudy, like, what do you call them? Those cloudy clouds? <laughs> Think of how when you see that sun peek its rays out from that ugly day, notice how you're not even thinking about the rain. You're not thinking about, oh my God, I wish that I could see the sun clearly. Oh my God, ew, no. You're just like, wow, that sun is so beautiful no matter what. Like, whenever that sun comes out, it's just, it could be a cloudy day. And when that sun just rears its, its rays out, I'm just so grateful and so happy to see that. That's you. That's you. So whether you have a pimple, whether you're having a horrible day, whether your hair has gotten blown in the wind, you're like, oh my God, like, why won't my hair stay where? People ain't perceiving that. People are not perceiving that. They're perceiving that the way you walk, the way you talk, your presence is gorgeous. Understand that. And so you, but you, that your test is meant to understand that, that it is not your aesthetic that people are, are looking at. It's your sense about you. It's the aura that you exude. That is where you are meant to really shine because you shine regardless. But it's about you believing that you shine the way that others perceive you to shine because sometimes you don't believe it. Sometimes you're like, Really like, but my hair isn't perfect today. Like, what are you even talking about? Like, ew, I could work on the gym a little bit longer for this. I could do this a little more. I could do this a little better. People aren't perceiving that. That's the last thing they're thinking about. That's the last thing they're thinking about Leo's. So that was my Leo Sun video. I really, really hope that you got something out of that, my Leo Suns, and I'm wishing you all the best. I'm wishing you all the glamor. I'm wishing you the best outfits on the planet. I'm wishing you, you know, I'm, I'm wishing you endless nights of you being the star of the night, the bell of the ball, okay? And not only that, I'm, I'm wishing that the people around you are just as bright and fun and beautiful as you because every Leo wants a pack. Every Leo can sure shine on their own, but I think for you Leos, the, the most magnificent thing for you would be to have a posse or a crowd of people that you love 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 a family a pot of people that you know you guys just go out and you love on each other and you hype each other up and yeah you just have a family so i love you if you need a birth chart reading hit my links below go to my house's video and mash those things together also go to my son through the house's video because that can also help you it's right and and mash all those things together and you will love it and you will get more insight from it my leos i will see y'all on the next one y'all have a great day bye